<laughs> Hello, welcome back to Math Tea UK. Today we are at Yeah, uh, we've not fished this, this one before. Um, the other parts of the lake are all booked up, so we couldn't go on those, so we were left with this one. But I will say this, this is a very clean and tidy little lake. Um, very immaculate, it's probably one of the cleanest and tidiest I've been on. So um, yeah, looking forward to it, 48 hours, see what we can do. Um, we'll have a look at the baits and tactics later on. In the meantime, we've got our pet with us. Um, He's down there, look, just out of shot. Yeah, back led the goose. Yeah, back led the goose. He's already eaten a back led. Yeah. Anyway, I've got one zig, three foot zig, I've got one white pop up, and I've got two 15 mil bottom baits. Um, hardly any baits gone out again. Uh, quick spread in each location, and, and that's it, probably about 30 boilies altogether. The moon looks very shimmery. Thank you. That's better. So go on then Dave, how are you fishing, what are you doing, what are your tactics? I've cast all three at the same distance and just spread a little bit of bait around, just what? a bit of corn. Within the, it's still only two or three degrees isn't it, above freezing. Yeah it is, yeah. Uh, so very, very, you know, I fished singles for a few hours, got a few line bites, and I've second guessed the area that they might be in, but whether I get a pick up or not I don't know. I think it's a case of... Uh, we're all trying different things and then uh, adjust in the morning accordingly if anything comes out. Yeah, I don't think uh, I'm, I've got a zig on, pop up. You, you've covered, yeah, bait. you've got different. I've got the same presentation yeah. all three, but I will change if needed. I mean, it's not hard, like, it's just the weather that's hard. And yeah. So we've never fished it before, so we don't know which is the going swim or if they're coming out anywhere. So you're on peg nine, aren't you? Is it nine? So, yeah, yeah, ten. Yeah, def it is nine. Yeah, I'm on eleven. The, the first guy's on yeah. seven, and yeah. we've missed one. I'm on nine, and you're on eleven. Yeah. You've got quite a bit, few features in front of you, haven't you? Yeah, well, I've got a deep pond about eight foot, a deep there's, pit about eight foot, and there's, there's three little holes in the. Yeah, to the left, right, right in front of ten. Which of the three silly. little holes? Yeah. Could be good little traps. Yeah, well, if nobody jumps in there tomorrow, I'm going to go extreme right into that bay, and I think I'm going to find that one of those little pits and drop one in there as well I think. Yeah, mm. that's all you can do in it. So what so so now we've talked about the fishing, what what drink are you having this evening, Dave? Because it's uh you're doing ginuary, I don't drink gin on ginuary. Oh, yeah. uh, I'm on Jack Daniels Jan Jan uh, I can't say January. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I've got the tiniest bit of Jack Daniels and Coke. Uh, the tiniest bit of coke that is, and Jack Daniels. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just keeping warm near the fire. Fantastic. Yeah, we, we've got to mention the fire, really, and we're going to focus on that now. Now, some of you may have watched our um, it's a barbecue bush, not a fire, bush crafty it, really? yeah videos, and this is the latest fire that I, the stove that I bought, and it doubles up as a barbecue, doubles up as a stove, got a grill. And but it also makes a very very convenient little um, hand warmer, would you say? Oh yeah. It's We're not really disturbing other guys on the uh, lake. The uh, I've got a screen up there, so it's just, just bouncing the heat so, back, lovely. Yeah. So that, yeah, but also it's hiding a lot of the light as well, just just shining it onto us. So try not to disturb anybody else. I mean, I know a lot of you get really upset, see people have fires on the bank, but that's not a fire, that's a barbecue. And uh, there you go. Catch you later. It's weird that a bird would even come up to the fire, isn't it? Well, yeah, really weird because they're normally naturally scared of the stuff. But that thing isn't scared of shit. I'm going to call it Swan Vesta. That's <laughs> what you can't call it Swan Vesta, it's a goose. It's a goo Vesta. It's not a nice morning, but here comes Fisherman Dave with his, uh, with our admin tent. Oh, with a neighbourly chat there. Dave is currently having a chat with our neighbour. As 
I can imagine this conversation is going something like, as adult. <laughs> In the meantime, I, on the other hand, I also have a visitor. It's back bed. Oi, get out! This little elastic band, you stupid goose. That thing will eat practically anything. Still, not long now before the quad bikes turn up and start disturbing everybody. And here comes trouble again. He will not go away. He's kept me awake all night, that bloody thing. He's friendly, but a pain in the butt. Using my winter um, cooking equipment, and my dirty pot, as, as I was recently called. Uh, nickname for it, not the fact that it's a dirty pot. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> but yeah, my preferred winter cooking method getting us a brew. Well, I've done overnight on them and uh, no joy so I'm going to change now to a different bait and I'm going to be using pepper army with a pop-up top so a pepper army with a pop-up hat and I'll show you that in a second okay so you can see what I have been fishing with I've been fishing with these strawberry uh, 12 mil pop-ups been using a white pop-up and uh, and I was using a zig earlier on as well and had nothing on that no one's had anything on the lake so far so what I've done now I've changed to some pepperami topped with a, a krill boilie so that's bottom bait and what I've got on the other two is I think this is a pop-up and I've, I've got a, a piece of salami with a pop-up hat so it's like critically critically balancing the bait so that that's what I've gone for this time so there we are so a closer look there at that little simple little rig nothing hard and fast but there you go let's see how we do with that and I'll put a little bag of uh, little bag of uh, boilies next to it as well That's what I'll be putting out on this one. After UK guarantees fishing. <laughs> <laughs> Well, despite us being sat in a bivvy, bivvy bound and everything else, there's not much we can do about that. The rain, it has stopped raining right now. But I've got to say a huge thank you to everybody who subscribed recently. I've just gone over a thousand subscribers and I'm really, really pleased about that. I might not look it, but I am. So thank you so much everyone for subscribing. I, I hope to see you all in other videos later on and uh, we'll try and keep you entertained. But genuinely a huge thanks to everybody. Uh, I, should, I should really subscribe. You I? should really subscribe, really, being that you're in most of them, yeah. That's yeah. why I don't. Yeah, that's probably why you don't. You don't like to look at yourself, do you? No. Anyway, um, so far this weekend, not much happened. Um, although, what would you say the highlight of the weekend would be so far, Dave? Uh, probably the fire-eating goose. Yep, that is quite funny. <laughs> Which I've never seen before. No, we did have a visitor last night. We will show you some footage of that. Um, this thing would eat anything that you put in front of it including the barbecue including the barbecue that we had uh, uh, and that's no joke just watch this if it isn't scared of that yes it's eating the fire and I've got it on video now it's got a beak on its beak <laughs> so as you can see you know this, this crazy goose crazy goose but or was it the wine? Or was it the wine? Perhaps it had been on the wine as well. I mean, I don't know. Or perhaps we were, we were hallucinating. Perhaps when I actually watch this again, it's not actually there. 
but yeah that was that was crazy you know it just ran off with some burning wood in its mouth I mean <laughs> we didn't know it was gonna do it we didn't know it was gonna peck at the wood and, and the fire why would it do that no, that's it. I would I mean, like to say on film, sorry for what you that this is a lot better than that side you brought. Yeah, horse piss. Well, mm. I don't. I wouldn't even say it was that good. And I've drunk some horse piss, by the way. <laughs> but it's not as cold tonight. Barbecue, goose food, goose food. Yeah, <laughs> goose goose feed. Um, if we can open the bag. <laughs> if we can open. The bag. Just pull the strings. Just pull the strings, nearly cut me flaming finger off. Um, yeah, we're gonna have another barbecue. Tonight we are gonna do some uh, grilled chicken with some pasta and some peppers and some sun-dried tomatoes. Looking forward to tea. Uh, as somebody rightly said recently, we don't do pot noodles. <coughs> I, think, I think what I'll do, I think I'll just do a quick pan of, the, uh, of this lake. Um, it is really clean in town. Well, I'll just show you down this one bank for now because th th this, how it's set up here, is how it's mimicked all the way round. So it, it, this is exactly the same. So I'm going to show you now. Well, apart from the other side. Apart from the other side, it was pretty much the same. So there you go, nice, clean, tidy swims. Plenty of room in each one. The swims are only 10 meters apart and there is 12 swims on this lake and if it was full you wouldn't have a lot of water each but bearing in mind that this is classed as a runs water would you say is this supposed well, to be a runs it's supposed water supposed to be it's making us look mm. yeah, not to no runs water yeah nothing's moment. running too much at the moment but we won't fail on here for our uh... no. well actually we we're going to go on uh, number one weren't we that was booked out completely yeah yeah, sunny one. Well, yeah, so I was uh, set up really for fishing in the sunny one. So we opted for Fox's Lake. There wasn't very many guys on. And here is the maps that I mentioned in one of my previous videos. Uh, I'll give you a close look at it. So if you ever fancy coming to Fox's Lake, you can have a look at the depth, the, what's going on in the water. And I'll show you where we are and why we are where we are. So at this moment in time, Dave is fishing on 9 into that water, I'm fishing on 11 into this water. I've got myself 8 foot of water here and the remainder is between 6 and 7 feet here. So 7 feet, 8 feet. Um, that's where I've got now, that's the water I've got now. Dave, um, a little bit more 6 and 7 feet um, and 8 feet out to this sandbank or gravel bank which runs up along here. This is like doing the weather, isn't it? <laughs> now, you would think we would be here, but we've got lads in here. There's, there's lads already there. There's nothing I can do about that. So we've opted for, um, these, these, there's a chap over in seven. So nine and 11 gives us plenty, but there's no other people on at the moment. And I actually have, I'm, I'm, I'm cheating a bit slightly because I've, I've actually got a couple of baits over here and over here as well i just fancied putting it in this bay this bay just looks right for me i don't know still water um i don't know we did see movement of fish over in this area earlier today and uh, so i've i've taken my baits from here instead of being directly out in front of me where i should be i've gone over it if anybody turns up i'll just move my baits it's as simple as that but why not use the water that i've got available to me that's what i'm doing it has been raining and the weather has been pretty bad so let's go into a weather mode the wind currently is coming across from our uh it's a southeasterly wind coming from this direction here um giving this sheltered area massively sheltered um so anyone fishing at this moment in time will find that the water still in here slightly ripples to the northern edges of the pond thank you very much for watching over to the newsroom goodbye so there we are two bivvies in one swim but one's an admin tent it means you can keep all your gear all your bait and tackle and everything in one and just cook in the other it's, it's terrific it's a great setup we we love to doing it this way um, it works for us and um, we don't cause any dramas to anybody so why not
and so the intrepid fisherman continues his quest for a fish for 2018. This fellow my lad here has caught a fish, it's the first one we've seen taken out this weekend. Well done you. Yeah, his rig looks like a simple popper. Yeah, you can. So what we're making is um, barbecue chicken pasta, sun-dried tomatoes and grilled peppers with rice in a parcel. Mm. So we've cooked the item separately, we're now warming up our, getting the base warm on them, there we are. Well, it's got quite a good kick, hasn't it? Up. Getting them started. Marvellous. There you go, it's a parcel of loveliness. A parcel of goodness. There you go, you have that one. Well, full that one, it's going to be red out that now. Oh, good. I know to be careful now. You can feel the heat through that. There you go. Oh, mm -mm. Good combo effort that. Good team effort. Mainly Matt though, I'd like to say. Let's drop right down. I've got some fish that. Over a liner and a half. Got a bit foggy out there, hasn't it? Yeah, it's not so good. conditions. Okay. <laughs> we know it's the midges. There isn't any there. There's no midges in here, no. Yeah, yeah. All life form has been nuked. There's <laughs> only us two amoebas sat here. Fucking <laughs> bond life. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're picking yourself up these days. <laughs> <laughs> Who do I think I am? <laughs> it's going to be warm, isn't it? It is now. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. Just do with a bit more coal on it. <laughs> Not going to do that again. No. Um, yeah, a tag, right? Is when it was. It's all right. It's good fun actually. It's good fun, but you don't see it in the carp fishing. You don't. So see how it. do you start it? Could I just ask you five questions? Yeah. Well, I think I'm going to start it then. No. Right. You want to ask some questions? You get maximum of one. You can ask five questions. Whatever. Five qu questions. You give me five to questions, you. and then I have to then. And is it fish, fishing based questions? Got to presume. Keeping it on topic. Yeah, yeah. Keep it on subject. Five questions on subject. I'll answer them now. Yeah. And then when I'm done. Um, right. I've got a good. We'll, question. we'll forward it on to somebody. And then they fishing have, related. Yeah. Keep it. Keep it on the mark. Right. Yeah. Right. I'm ready. What's your favourite sandwich? <laughs> So that's it, all done. Uh, third blank in a row, I'm afraid, but there you go, that's just the way it is. A lad on peg six here, he caught three yesterday, so well done him. Um, I didn't get anything, uh, Dave didn't get anything, but I did have a backdrop, a good backdrop too, but there, no, nothing, I'm afraid. So that's that. Uh, what have I got coming up next? I have to do my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. If you're not sure what that is, um, Usually in the bushcraft scene, the hammock and hiking sort of scene, when you get so many subs, you, you know, you're expected to do a giveaway. I did it at the 500, and I'm going to do it at the 1000, so again it'll be something which is uh, useful for both fishermen and hammocking, so look forward to that. That'll be probably my next little video, the giveaway. So thank you very much to all the subscribers, thank you so much for joining me on, on my expeditions. It's not normal. You know that now, we don't do normal stuff, you're not going to see us 
plugging other people's bait, you're not going to see us plugging other people's stuff, we just don't do that. Uh, what we do is we go and enjoy ourselves. So until next time, thank you for joining me, Math T signing out. <laughs>